Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be smarty, the apple so. Now, Baseki and uh, Tinubu. Baseki poor the matter. He said, Tinubu, your own they do too much. Tinubu, you, you, your own do too much. You are impoverishing Nigerians. Yeah, Baseki condemn all Tinubu economic policies. See, Nigeria, you better tell Nigerians the truth. So. That is why they do so. They talk more. You say you are impoverishing the people. People are becoming poor by the day. You have to spend more to buy food. You have to spend more to buy food. You have to spend more to pay rent. You have to spend more on maintenance. You have to spend more on A, B, C, D, Z. And more is not coming. So what happens? You go into a reserve and at the end of the day, it takes God. Hmm? <clears throat> So bounce back. So these are some of the things that are going on. And Obaseki had to just hit the nail on the head. He said, guys, guys, let's tell ourselves the truth. Let's stop uh, going from left to right, right to left. Let's just be honest for once. He said, the Obaseki you are seeing, yeah? Yeah, the Tinubu you are seeing, is impoverishing the people. He's making things terrible. He's really making things terrible. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Nigerians impoverished Obaseki. Obaseki condemns Tinubu's uh, economic policy. Say you are impoverishing the people. Nigerians are impoverished. You are disgracing and dealing with the people in a very terrible manner. This is bad. Governor Gordon Obaseki of Edo State said the nation's economic situation has taken a tone for the worse as a result of bad policies of Tinubu's administration. The governor who raised the alarm while speaking with journalists in Benin, the state capital, expressed shock over what he calls the federal government's lack of plan. Mm, no plan for Nigerians, you know, no plan. For Nigerians to effectively respond to the fuel subsidy remover policy. You can't work with people like that. He noted that the fuel subsidy remover has further impoverished Nigerians, inflating hardship and suffering on the people. I have always wondered and worry why Nigerians during the last May day will not speak out and make their voices heard. I told them that we have come to an end of a road and that the old economic order in Nigeria is gone and we have to come up with a new economic order and stop deceiving ourselves as a nation. I am shocked that people who campaigned around the country saying that they will remove, sub remove subsidies had no clear plans on what to do about the subsidy remover. People are suffering all over the place. Go and investigate. Nigeria is in ruins. They don't know what to do. Tinubu of all came in and from acceptance speech announced subsidy removal with no plan. Who does that? You have victimized the people and increased the suffering. Nigerians are really going through a hard and a terrible turn. Now that the subsidy is gone, the exchange rate is now on the other side. The era of free money has come to an end and this is part of what a government is doing to the people. The consequences is that the weak and the most vulnerable in our society, unfortunately, will carry a huge part of this burden, of these policies. I am shocked that people who campaigned around the country, he campaigned talking about the subsidy remover, have no clear plans to do what to do after removing the subsidy. And now Nigerians are victimized. What a pain, what a pain the people are going through. That's Governor Gordon Obaseki, the governor of uh, those states, still the governor, and um, he's not happy. Oh, no, he's not. He's not happy at all. And from his submission, he's saying that, you know, it's it's wrong what and how, you know, this whole thing is going. He said it's wrong. What, the, you know, the government is doing to the people is very terrible. That it should not be done. It should not be done. You know, so people are genuinely and sincerely suffering. And all we can see and all we know is that, you know, the government have no clear plans, especially the Tunibu's administration, who came on the heels telling Nigerians that, you know, um, subsidy will be removed. You know, he made all those announcements and all those things and told Nigerians that, oh, the era, he said, but there was no clear plans. There was no clear plans whatsoever. And this is terrible. This is wrong. Definition of bad, there is no other name for it. 
you know, the definition of bad. And it says, if things are going to change, if the nation is going to experience liberty, Tinubu and his team have to come up with what works. Yes, they have to come up with what works. They cannot continue on this spray, on this, you know, on this thing going on here. No, it can't work. It's not going to work one minute. It's not going to work. And so Nigerians need to begin to understand this and begin to prepare themselves and speak out because the masses are the ones bearing the brunt, especially the less privileged in our society, especially those who cannot fend for themselves, especially those who have no clear cut, you know, uh, you know, uh, plans. They don't have anything doing and it is sad as well, genuinely suffering suffering on you know indiscriminately and it is terrible because again and again what you know what people have been going through and all that we've been experiencing are all clear cut definition of definition of bad you know nigerians it's 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 high time that we begin to you know look at all these things and ensure that you know the people who should be responding appropriately as they should in order to put you know nigerians and the people right in the right perspective are not doing so most of these people are rather you know behaving and carrying on with business as usual as if all is well why the masses suffer and dwell in limbo and wonder what next. The people are suffering, yet some persons are getting away with everything going on. It is sad, but this is what is happening. Very sad, but this is what is going on right now. So if there's any time in the history of the nation where everyone should arise and ensure that, you know, they are not being used as, uh, you are not being victimized in the hands of those who, you know, think that they can use the people and get away with it, this is that time. So every single one of us needs to begin to arise and begin to speak out like we should and do not allow the same thing over and over again. You know, Nigerians have gone through a lot already. The nation is bleeding, the people are suffering, and um, it is time for us to understand this, that um, the nation, the people, the issues and all that is happening is, is all indications you know, of things that are going on and why again and again every single person needs to get off, you know, their high horse and we work together in place of unity to end every kind of abnormalities going on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. And from us, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.